Okay, now it's time to work on the body of the pig. And here's another option that you can do. It's up to you. Um, if if I'm not going to UV map any of this, I'm just going to simp simply select. I'm going to go to face mode. And I'm going to select the faces in both the arm and the leg on this side. And I'm just going to select all of them. Excuse me, I grew my selection a little too big. Increase my selection here. Just have to manually select this, these faces. And what I'm going to do is just delete this bit of geometry and I'll remirror it later. And you can UV map any way you want. This isn't, once you understand the, the technique and the concept behind it, can do whatever you'd like to UV map. I'm just going to delete those. And I am going to um, do another trick, which is I'm going to select in face mode uh, this arm on this side, which is already has already has a UV island. And I am just going to extract this or separate it from my pig and reconnect it later. So I'm just going to go to Mesh and Extract. It becomes a separate object. And I'm going to go to Face Mode here. Select this leg. And again, hit G to extract again. You don't have to do this. I'm just showing you different methods. Uh, the reason why I think it's not a bad idea to extract it is because then it keeps these pieces separate and I don't have to worry about uh, I can, it just makes it a little bit easier for me to select these UVs and, and change them. So I can continue this process in object mode, excuse me, in face mode. And I can select this entire ear on this side. You know, why don't I just do both at the same time? I'll select both ears. And make sure I have them all selected and just extract them. Then I'm going to I'm going to extract the nose. And then I'm going to extract the head from the rest of the body. Try that selection again. Select from the body this time, and I will extract the body here from the head. So just one method, one alternative method. So now I can go to work on this pig, and I'm going to work a little bit faster. And I'm going to go to face mode, just select all the faces here on the body, except for one row. In fact, here's another trick. I can actually just double click this row and I can say this this is the excuse me, um, the uh, the loop here, the ring. I'm gonna select this ring. And then I can go just go to edit and invert selection. And you can see I don't have to spend so much time selecting that. Well I went all the way through so maybe I have to select this one side. There's always a there's always a little bit of complication. And I'll just deselect a ring here. And this is going to be a seam here and a seam here. So I'm going to planar map it. And then I'm going to planar map this one right here. And lastly I'm going to planar map this section. So I have my main trunk and then the rest of my selection. So I'm going to go to UV mode, select these islands. I'm going to move this. Here's the main body. Move this off. 
Seems like there should be one more selection here. And I'll, I will go through and Oh, I did planar map that, I just didn't see it. So, take this one to UV mode. And here's this other island. So I'm gonna select each one of these islands and I'm going to unfold them. This one probably needs to relax first, then unfold. Going to select this bottom section, unfold it, and scale it down so that it matches the same size as these, or at least approximately. And here's the main body. And I'm going to rotate this about to here, and relax it and unfold it. I need to relax it again. There we go. Rotate it, and Go back to my smooth tool and unfold it one more time. That looks a lot better. Okay, so get these UVs around the same size so that all of these match in a similar way. And I'm going to check, and I believe that this is the side right here. Yes, this is where I'm going to make my attachment. So I'm going to go to UV mode and just click on these. UVs here. Keep in mind I'm going to leave this one open and leave this one unselected, both of them unselected. I'm going to move and sew. It's going to snag that piece on the side. Then on the bottom, I'm going to select that ring. Notice I'm not, excuse me, that row of UVs. I'm not going to select the outer ones. Move and sew. And then I'm going to take this and unfold it one more time. And there you have it. Another UV island. And I'll just move it off to the side like this and leave it there.